Hey everyone, Zoran Solano here from Hot Property Buyers Agency. I wanted to do this quick video because I feel that something really, really important needs to be said. I believe property investors need to stop what they're doing and focus on the real goal of why you own property, which is capital growth. With recent changes to the federal government's budget, we see that uh, depreciation has been affected with established properties and some fixtures and fittings and, and items that are now excluded from being able to be claimed by the new purchaser. Um, and, and there's some restrictions around that. And this is making some clients hesitate and second guess potentially buying another investment property. Let me put it to you this way, and I'm gonna compare it to one of the things I love most, going out for dinner. Sounds a bit silly, but bear with me. When you go out for dinner, you go out for the main course. You go out there, you do your research, you look at where's gonna have the best food, the best experience overall, definitely. But it's the main course that really sticks in most people's minds. Well, it does for me anyway. Now, let me put it this way. When you sit down at a table and the waiter comes over, they ask you to order two things, an entree and a main. And for me, the entree is cash flow. It's rent. It gets you excited about the meal. It's your first taste. You get it straight away when you sit down or very shortly after, and it teases you into the entire experience you're about to have. And it preps you for the second course, the main course, which is really why you went out for dinner, which is capital growth. Now, if you're sitting there and you, you're, you're enjoying your dinner, you're enjoying your capital growth, it's not something that comes out immediately. That's why you're served an, an entree or an appetizer to, 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 because the main course takes longer to prepare and so does capital growth. So this is where rental yield keeps you in owning that property, it helps with cash flow and then you can manage that slight negative gearing or neutrally geared property depending on the rental yield of the property. But then it's that capital growth that comes through at that next stage, perhaps when you revalue your property. To go back to my analogy of going out for dinner, when you sit down and order, do you order dessert? No. The dessert menu doesn't come out until after you have had your main. And that is tax benefit to me. Tax benefit is something that comes around after you've seriously looked at your rental yield and your capital growth and those benefits of owning an investment property. Just like dessert when you go out for dinner, you don't always have it. You don't always have it because sometimes you're full from the other courses and sometimes you don't need it. It's overindulging. And I think this is something that we can really take into perspective and put into perspective when we're talking about property because tax benefit should really be the least of your worries when you're looking to purchase an investment property. It should be the icing on the cake or the dessert to your meal out. Guys, if any of this doesn't make sense, give me a call and have a chat because I'd love to talk to you more about it. But I guess the main goal of this video is to show you that no matter what happens with negative gearing, with tax depreciation, whether the federal government changes regulations, whether land tax changes or, or whatever the case may be, all of those things are on the side of why we buy property. And I just wanted to remind you of that. Thanks guys, if you ever have any questions in relation to this or any of my videos, please give me a call on 07 3170 3760. Cheers.